Hi there. My name's Willow. Have you ever been to a place that was so cold? You needed a pair of these? Or how about a place that was so hot? You wish you had one of these. Today, I'm going to help my friends the Quinks explore temperature and how to measure how hot or cold something is using a thermometer. And we're going to learn how the sun warms this beautiful blue planet of ours, the land, the water, and the air. Are you ready? Then let's get quinking. Quasar. Quasar here. <laughs> Trina here. What happened? We were going to go exploring together. But the galactic positioning system on our bubble pods malfunctioned. And we p -p popped in into different places. And I bet there was at least one thing about those places that was really different. Can you think of something that was really different about the places the Quinks popped into? One thing that was really different was how hot or cold those places were. Neutrina, I'm guessing you were someplace cold. Totally true! People were bundled up in heavy coats, and there were these houses made of snow. There are lots of cold places on Earth. Some of the coldest are here, around the North and South Pole. The people in those regions sometimes build shelters out of snow. Because that's a material they have plenty of. Quasar, I'm guessing you were someplace hot. Yeah, and there was all this sand and water, and people were lying in the water and flapping their arms around. It was pretty weird. There are lots of hot places on Earth, too. Some of the hottest are here, around the equator. But the sand, the water, and the people flapping, we call that swimming. Tell me you were at the beach. The beach, huh? Ah, remind me not to go there again. And Flux, you were somewhere that was in between hot and cold. It was just right. And it was dark, and people were watching other people who were really big and flat. It sounds like you were in a movie theater, and those big, flat people were the actors on the screen. In a theater, they keep the temperature between hot and cold, so people will be comfortable. <sighs> I like comfortable. Let's see how good you are at guessing hot, cold, and in between. Temperature. Oh, I love big words. Um, what's it mean? Temperature is how hot 
or cold something is. And you need a special tool to measure it. I'll be right back. You know, when Earthlings say they'll be right back, they mean it. Ta-da! It's a thermometer. Ooh. Thermometer. <laughs> Another big word. Let me show you how it works. The water in one of these glasses is cold. The water in the other is hot. Let's see which one's which. See? The thermometers show us that the water in the glass on the left is warmer than the glass on the right. See those marks? They show how hot or cold something is on the Fahrenheit scale. Fahrenheit. Three big words in one day! <laughs> Can you read a thermometer? I wonder what Neutrine is up to. Beats me. She was mumbling about temperature and thermometer and Fahrenheit. Presenting the Bubble Pop Thermometer. Now we can take the temperature of any place on Earth. I could have done that if I knew how to do that. Can we go on a mission now? Sure, Flux. We'll call it Mission Temperature. Okay, let's go. This is going to be so cool. And hot. <laughs> don't forget in between. And don't forget me. What a weird-looking horse. I think it's called a camel. I think the camel likes me. What do you think the temperature is? According to my thermometer, the temperature is 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, I guess I'd look weird too if I was that hot all the time. Nice meeting you, Mr. Camo. <laughs> look at all those bubble pods she's making. Earthlings don't have bubble pods, Flux. They just have bubble... bubbles. What do you think the temperature is? <laughs> According to my thermometer, it's 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too cold, not too hot. Uh, just right. Whoa, look how fast he's going. <laughs> now this I like. What do you think the temperature is? Temperature is five degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, that's super cold. 
<laughs> that I don't like so much. Let's go. This place looks strangely familiar. That's because it's the beach. The beach? No. What do you think the temperature is? According to my thermometer, it's 95 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really hot. Not as hot as the place Mr. Camel lives. But too hot for me. How'd it go? My bubble pop thermometer measured the temperature everywhere we went. And I, uh, did important stuff, too. Quinks quiver when they have a question. What makes the beach so hot? Good question, Flux. What do you think? The water in this glass is around 70 degrees. It's been sitting inside all day. The water in this glass is around 90 degrees. So what's the difference? The difference is the warmer one has been sitting out in the sun. Sun, that's not a big word, but it sounds important. You mean that yellow disc in the sky? Are you trying to tell me that raised the temperature of the water all the way down here? Exactly. Even though the sun is millions of miles away, it's so powerful it warmed the water in the glass. So, if the sun warmed the water in the glass, it must warm other things on Earth. Like the beach. beach. Right you are, Quinks. The sun warms the beach and everything else on the surface of the earth. The land, the water, and the air. Without it, our planet would be so cold, nothing could live on it. What are some of your favorite things the sun warms? Amazing! And ultra powerful! And there are people who use the power of the sun to do ultra amazing things. I want to see that! I want to see that too! I want to go first for a change! So, see how the layout here how it lines up nicely against the ridge line? Hi! Hi, I'm Steve. I'm Heather. We're Quinks! We're from Outer Space! We're here to learn all about your planet. What we're exploring now is the power of the sun. Then check this out. We install solar panels that capture the power of the sun to make people's lives better in all kinds of ways. Even I'm impressed. When I grow up, 
I want to be just like you. Okay, then see if you can figure this out. Build something that will keep a marshmallow cooler in the sun. We'll totally try. Bye, Steve. Bye, Heather. Thanks from Outer Space. Can, Can you, you think, think like, like an, an engineer, engineer and, and figure, figure it out? We're back. Let me guess. You stopped off at the beach. Yeah, it was like totally outrageous. The umbrella idea really worked. It was 90 degrees in the sun, but under the umbrella, it was only 74. Ah,、uh, we were so comfortable. Now the beach is like my favorite place on your whole planet. We're explorers. Go Willow! Thanks for everything. Willow, you're the best. I know. We'll be back. And I hope you'll be back to help the Quinks make more discoveries. Till then, let's all be explorers and see what we can discover about this beautiful blue planet of ours. Are you ready? Then let's get quinkin'. Quinks, quasar, quinks, neutrino, quinks, blast, quinks. They're from a far off place. Quinks, deep in outer space. Quinks. <laughs> 